what has consistently been getting shittier. Cost of living. Preach. I used to have money for fun and provide for my family. Now every paycheck needs to be strictly strategized. Gotta love everything going up in price while wages remain the same. Streaming services. Perception of people as you grow up. When you're a little kid, you think adults can fix things. Then, as you get older, you realize that they don't fix things very well. As you get older, you realize there are, in fact, no adults. Just a lot of kids who continue to age and have to pretend that they have stuff figured out. I know a state prosecutor in his mid-60s who said this thought still occasionally pops into his head I don't know what to do. We should ask a grown-up. Ha, ah, when my dad was 50-something I asked him, what did you want to be when you grew up? He told me I still haven't decided. I'm 58 and retired but I think I want to be a geologist when I grow up. I want to be retired at 58 when I grow up. The quality of furniture. Unless you want to spend $10,000, you can't really get something that will last 50 plus years. The quality of search results on Google. They're all ads and SEO for relevance seems to have completely broken down. Back when I first got a smartphone, Google's newsfeed was loosely curated according to my search history and engagement. It was fantastic. I was interested in nearly every single story they showed me. Now? It's packed with clickbait, and the rare occasion where I'm actually interested in the topics they show me makes them show me the exact same story 50 times over. Oh, you read about Deshaun Watson being a predatory creep? You must want to read aggregator sites cribbed retellings of the same story. And you must want news about the Browns. Constant news about the Browns. What, you clicked not interested in this story on 15 separate links about this topic. Clearly you're interested in the topic, though. You read one story about it. It must be that you're just not interested in those specific articles, so we won't show you them again. But what about this aggregator's cribbed retelling of it? You want to see that, right? And the absolute flood of links on the same topic all but guarantee you'll click one, if only by accident, and they use that engagement as proof you want to see even more. It's ducking trash, and it's worse because they used to do it right. We know you know how to manage a useful news feed, Google. So do it. For real. I made the mistake of inquiring beyond the headline on a deep heard headline and then it was literally 10 notifications per day on that shit. Never again. He didn't really care the first time but the headline had enough weird-ass connotation that it tricked me into digging further. I never read an article and kept selecting show less articles like this and it was still daily. Then I went with hide all articles from this source and it eventually got better. Before the trial it was always Kardashians. I fear just posting the name here will lead to all sorts of interwebs bullshit that will intrude on every browser session from now on. YouTube, a Google subsidiary, recommendations have also dived off a cliff. I am interested in many different topics and have subscribed to a hundred plus channels. Most of what I get in my YouTube feed is dozens of videos related to my last three searches. I wanted cooked duck a l'orange. I found one highly viewed video, cooked it, it was great, and now YouTube thinks that it is my life's passion. I made the mistake of clicking on a Joe Rogan interview clip. I don't even remember the original clip, but YouTube spent the next year absolutely convinced that Joe Rogan was my shit and flooded my feed with it. The not interested didn't seem to help at all. Housing costs. YouTube. Two unskippable ads with every freaking video. And more throughout. I'm honestly surprised if Therese only two. A block origin for Peaks laptops, YouTube Vanced for mobiles my friend. Someone told me Vanced is discontinued, unfortunately. New pipe works just as well. Skips ads, intros, outros, promo sections, like and subscribe sections and allows you to play video with your screen off, nice for long-form podcasts interviews, music, etc. Vanced is discontinued unfortunately, but it still works. I got a new phone three weeks ago and was able to get it installed on there. Saved and upvoted your comment for if I ever need an alternative though. Revance Adapt 2 Edit, but I personally still use Vanced BC it still works fine. Advertisements. Not only the quality of advertisements, but frequency has skyrocketed. For example, when you watch a basketball game, these mother duckers put an ad in between free throw attempts. Everything is presented by company XYZ, everything has some sort of advertisement connected to it, and it is infuriating. 
every advertisement is a sensory ducking overload now. This is the thing that gets to me. I can put up with ads, particularly on free services, but I can't stand ads that scream at me. Or have obnoxious music, etc etc. My attention span. TLDR. Not reading that essay. Social media. Yeah it used to be all about sharing stuff with your friends. Now it's all about trying to keep your eyes on it as long as possible so they can show you more ads. The social networks that are about sharing stuff and the actual content either get acquired or die. Instagram is the only app I use and it makes me pretty pissed off scrolling my feed and seeing ads and promoted reels every other post. I don't want to see that. I just want to see my friends' photos. That's it. Makes me want to quit but Therese no better alternative. I rarely go on so I was shocked to see half my feed isn't even from people I follow. I miss the days when it was just my friends and posts were ordered newest to oldest. Mainstream Network Television Programming What's that? 55th anniversary of the JFK assassination? How about a marathon of Pawn Stars? Hey I like the Twilight Zone marathon on Christmas Day. My ducking attitude. That's for damn sure. Trash and litter along roadways. In our area, trash accumulates faster than cleanup crews can deal with it. As a fairly young teacher I'm astounded by how bad the kids I'm teaching are about rubbish. Like I'll ask them to use a bin and they'll act offended or pretend I literally didn't just see them drop something on the floor. I what's different but Therese only about 6 years between me and the kids I teach but en masse they seem way worse about litter, than anyone I've known my age. Of course, because they didn't grow up with Captain Planet. Quality of everyday items, they were more durable in the past, now they make them not to last so you'll buy it again. Obligatory Pyrex. Pyrex used to be high quality. The markings never came off. They were better heat resistant. Now they suck balls. If you find old Pyrex at a flea market, and I recommend googling the difference, that shit is buy it for life. Originally Pyrex was made of borosilicate glass, now it's soda lime. Just an inferior product. Pyrex is a brand of borosilicate glass while Pyrex is soda lime. Pyrex is now using Pyrex as a label on both in the US, so now you can't tell the difference. Ducking assholes. Life and perception. As I get older and learn more I consistently yearn for the old days but am not actually yearning for old days and merely wishing I could go back to when I didn't know anything about how life and the world actually operates. Youthful perception is usually more optimistic. Bro I had this same revelation a few weeks ago. I'm 32 and have found myself yearning for the old days as well. Life seemed so easy back when I was a kid. But then it hit me. It's no wonder life was easy back then. I didn't have a job except for school. I didn't have to worry about how I was going to eat and making sure there was a roof over my head. I got to just hang with friends and do whatever I wanted for the most part. My whole life was ahead of me and the possibilities were endless. I give my parents all the credit for giving me a good childhood. I was very fortunate. Life doesn't necessarily feel that way anymore when you're now responsible for keeping yourself alive and realizing how short life is. What hasn't been getting shittier TBH? Beer. There's vastly more variety than there used to be. The cost of living in the UK. I'm still working the same job I was 5 years ago, and my partner has actually had multiple promotions so our incoming money has, if anything, gotten better. But whereas 5 years ago we were able to pay all the bills, get what the kids needed and still have a little spare for luxuries like meals out family trips, now we are failing to make ends meet even with multiple cut, backs. We've cancelled everything non-necessary, the kids can't even go to their dance classes or after school stuff anymore, we have got my 74 year old grandma helping out with childcare and we're raiding the discount section of food stores for bargain meals most weeks. It's not great being here at the moment. Have you tried buying a new kettle? Okay I'll admit, this made me chuckle. I'm still trying to decide what to spend my 10 a year saving on. Spins wheel of bills apparently the water bill.